Hey guys, it's been a while. It's been maybe like a month or two since the last time I posted a video. Thank you if you're still here watching and active on the channel. It's been busy times, but today I have the Red Dragon K596 keyboard that I'm gonna be reviewing for you guys, which is a very nice piece of technology. I've reviewed a couple other Red Dragon products in the past, and this one certainly isn't gonna be the last. So let's get right into it. So on the outside, this keyboard looks like your typical keyboard, gaming keyboard, but, but it has a few tricks up its sleeve. Now just a general overview, we'll be going over the materials, the switches, the lighting, the keys, performance, and my general thoughts of it. So let's begin with the materials and the feel. This keyboard is composed of plastic, but it's high quality, it doesn't feel cheap by any means, and it doesn't feel like you're gonna break it. Every time you press a key, there's no cracks or anything like that. There's no unwanted noises or any signs of wear and tear. It feels really good in my opinion. There's a good weight to it. It's not too light, it's not too heavy. It's not gonna be moving around on your desk, that's for sure. Uh, the keyboard layout, it has your general keys, uh, the keys on the side like delete, insert, and the arrows up, down, left, right, but it doesn't have the number pad. That's where it gets cut off. And all the way on the left side, you have some customizable G keys. There's some on the left and some up top. Uh, we'll talk about those in a little bit. And of course, as you see in the video, it has a wrist rest, which is removable. It's also made of plastic. There's no rubber on it or any cushiony uh, materials. Um, it's all plastic. The design on it is part of the plastic. It's also very comfortable. And the fact that you could remove it with a few magnets, it's very easy. I've so far found it very comfortable having it on, so I'm leaving it on in the meantime. But if you want to use it normally without the wrist rest, you could simply just remove it. It's easy. Now under the hood, removing the keycaps, which once again are plastic, with the included keycap removal tool, you uncover the switches, the red switches and the little light bulbs that accompany them. Now in my opinion, it's difficult to find the switch, the perfect switch that has a good balance of sound uh, and satisfaction. Keyboards with the razor green switches are just too loud, blue switches are too loud in my opinion, at least for me, and I think these are the ones that hit it perfectly. They're not too loud, they're still satisfying to click, and you could use it in the middle of the night without disturbing anyone. And also if you're playing online, if you're using a mic, these won't be too loud to where the other people in the lobby will hear it. Now the font on the keycaps is also pretty big. I'm used to having more of a smaller font, but there's nothing wrong with this one either. One thing I do want to note though is the bigger the font, the more light that goes through. So this might be brighter because of that. Now one of the more obvious things to point out is the lighting. Beautiful lighting. It's one of my favorite parts of this keyboard. Now every key lights up. Customizable modes, you could change the modes on the keyboard by pressing the function keys and the keys on the side like delete, insert and such. Or you could also change it with the software. Depending on the color, it may not look as bright as other keyboards. For example, the yellow or the red, but they don't look as bright as the blues. I mean, that's how the colors are. They're not as bright, but on this keyboard, you could notice that the red is just a little bit dimmer than the other colors. And one of my favorite features, the lighting on the side, which you can also change in the software. If you have a white surface, a white desk or anything, the side lighting is gonna pop out and it's gonna look super nice. Now, speaking of the software, you could go in there, uh, create profiles, you could customize your keys, you could add functions to those G keys. For example, since I've been using this keyboard mainly for school, typing papers and stuff, I have G1 to set for copy, G2 set for paste, G3 to save or whatever. You could set it to open up Chrome, do whatever you want. And there's five on the left side and then four more on the top. So you have about nine options when it comes to customizing those G keys. Once again, the lighting in the software comes with a load of modes. A few of those are static, rainbow, meteor, and there's, I mean, there's really a lot. You'd have to go through the whole list to, to see them. If you haven't noticed, this keyboard is wireless. It comes with a USB dongle, which there's actually a little slot behind the keyboard to store it if you want to travel around and, and take it with you. Uh, it also comes with a cable. You could use it while charging. It's a USB-C cable. It's really high quality braided cable. It feels nice. Uh, and once again, one of the things I like about it is that it comes with the dongle. The keyboard I reviewed previously, the K530, the Draconic, that one didn't have a USB dongle and my computer does doesn't have Bluetooth capability, so I had to buy a separate dongle for it. This one comes with a dongle, so you eliminate that whole step. 
And so far, connectivity, perfect. There's been no issues whatsoever, um, no lag or anything. I've been playing games and it's been responsive perfectly fine. Uh, and speaking of games, I have played Fortnite, GTA, Battlefield, uh, Far Cry 5, and a few others, and I've really enjoyed the feedback I've gotten from the keyboard. It's very responsive, like I said. Playing Fortnite, you press a key, it does what you want it to do. You move around, run, whatever you do with the keys, jump, build. I mean, I'm not going to win a gunfight in Fortnite if the person's moving around, but I mean, that's that's my problem. The keyboard's performance is outstanding. Playing GTA, driving around, turning, drifting, do you know, doing whatever you want. I mean, once again, I'm probably going to crash if I'm playing on PC, but that's just me. Same thing with Far Cry 5. It's very responsive. One thing's for sure, you're not going to have any issues with this keyboard, whether you're using it wirelessly or wired. It performs great in both ways. So would I recommend it? Currently in the Red Dragon shop, it's $70. I'd say that's a good price for it. Lighting, performance, the red switches, high quality build. I think it's it's a very solid keyboard for that price. It's very good. And if you use code NERDISH uh, in the Red Dragon shop, you get another 10% off, which is about seven bucks. I'm not making any money off of this, but I would recommend it if you know want to save a little bit of money. So yeah, I, I think this is my new main keyboard. I mean, I say that in every video, but I mean, they keep getting better. I, I enjoy every keyboard I review which is not good I need to get one that I don't like so I could have you know some negative review on it but yeah I don't have much to say that's negative on this keyboard it's positive I mean it's so good so yeah in short I would recommend it that's gonna be it for this video please make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed I'll try to post more consistently but it's a little hard at this moment uh, but I do want to say thank you to the people who are watching so thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next video